In this way, everyone from the most fallen soul up to Sri Govinda himself, everyone prays for Radharani's mercy. The Lord always desires the mercy of his loving devotees. That is said by the scriptures and the great saints. For instance, in Brihad Bhagavatamrita 2738, Sri Sanatan Goswami writes that Sri Krishna told the Mathura Brahmana Jana Sharma, because of your grace, me and my family are now blessed. I am always waiting for the moment when you will bestow your mercy on me. Sri Radharani's love is the greatest. So her mercy is also most desired by Sri Krishna. So we can ask ourselves why Krishna is always hankering for devotees' love for devotees mercy even it is said here if we look at krishna like a supreme personality of godhead then he doesn't need anything but why because he has everything but one thing he doesn't have, enough. And it's never satiated with this thing. It's always missing in his heart. And this is the love of his devotees. And he is running for his devotees behind him, begging for his love. So the question is arising, who gives him? this beautiful quality to always <laughs> ask for more love, for more love, and for more love. Presence of Shimati Radhika in his heart. She is giving his this quality to be conquered by love, sub subordinated by love, because this is the only way how he can relish the love. And because of that, he knows to whom he is own, <laughs> let's say. And Srimati Radharani is this nice, beautiful, sweet person. And he is completely depend on his love. And he needs mercy of his love in the form of Srimata Radharani. Like Guru Dev many says, says he is the beggar. Beggar of love. And everything what he is doing, he is begging actually the love of his devotees. And because the Radhika's love is the greatest, he is the greatest beggar of her love. And this is her Beautiful. Beautiful. this is her mercy. Because why it's mercy? 
Because he is happy when he is beggar of love. And this is the gift of Radhika to her lover. To be a beggar of love. And this is the great mercy of Srimati Radharani. Karunya Amrita. Jai Ho! And that's why as Chaitanya, Krishna is the beggar of love. And Radhika is showing him how to love and how to feel her love and how to experience her love. And that's why we are still under the influence of that mercy. And we are still in this flow of love nowadays. And it's going on that Radhika is empowering her dasis now to help all the jivas to come to the highest service of love they could ever imagine. Because now they serve not the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Now they are serving the Supreme Goddess of Love. And that's a complete difference. That's a complete other dimension that it was never possible before. And it is only possible when Chaitanya comes. Because that's she. That's her. And that's why this is the call to all to come back and be remembering that we are her eternal Darcy's and to get the chance through her Darcy's. So that is an amazing, amazing uh, connection here because only when they are coming together, then Krishna becomes the most subordinate because her love is the highest now. She is coming as the, you know, golden, glowing, personification of Mahabhav, experiencing it, Krishna is the student. So you could say the Godheadness is almost nil, zero there. But the, you know, the Goddessness is 108%. And that is uh, an amazing chance for all of us to also become you know, into the, you know, circle of this love, serve that love. And now really meditating on this, I, I get a, a glimpse, a simple glimpse. Why all the devotees, they were crazy for this. They could all become Dasis now, even those who were in different moods before. Even those who were, you know, in, in, in Saki Bhav or in, in uh, Mahavishnu, or they be want to become Dasi now. They want to become intimate. They want to become servants of Srimati Radhika. And that was their chance also. And that's why Gurudev says when uh, Raghunath Goswami, he first went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was in the God, Godhead uh, love consciousness. You know, the, the, he is God and I am the servant. But through the mercy of Nittai, through the mercy of Ananda Mandri, he could enter the Dasi bath. And that's when he could meet Chaitanya and when he could learn from the Dasis later on and come to the, you know, peak of his uh, relationship in Dasi bath on Radhakund under the guidance of Shila Rupa Goswami, Shila Rupa Mandri. It's all connected and it's so beautiful how it is connected. So this is the reason why Baba is so mercifully is mentioning Radhika's position and name Daya Apara. Yeah. Limitless ocean of mercy. Daya, apara, apara, unlimited. See, and his power is all poetic. Poetic, yes. You will not find poetry. It is a song. This book is a song. This word is rare to find other places. Apara there. Highest mercy. Highest, not more high than this. 
So when Jiva receives this Daya, it means that Jiva agrees to give himself this Daya, Jiva Daya, this mercy. I agree to receive this Daya. How? By accepting my spiritual goal, Ishtadev, and Jiva Daya, to give, to receive properly and use properly what is given to me, spiritual identity. This is culmination of Jiva Daya, to be Daya to also ourselves. I feel like this, Jiva Daya. This is the Radha Rani is first giving Jeev Manit, who is listening, mercy to that Jeeva. Yeah. We think that Jeeva is there that I have to serve and give mercy to others. I am mean, empty, but I will do that. I have to receive mercy, Jeeva is there. I must see first, I have to receive. I have to give my jiva there. She is ready to give and we not accept that we think that I will give. I don't what you will give, yeah. You are empty. Jiva is there. She is giving us mercy to realize that you are the sea of me. Ah. Yeah. And this mercy share with others who will give without you this my sovereignty, my priya my pran priya. Only you can do that. Praneshwari can do this. Rasheshwari can do this. Yes, every year. So this is Baba's commentary. I have read this. Then, <clears throat> so, Shrimati Gagika is a uh, diaphana, a limitless ocean of mercy. This is everybody knows. And then, uh, Tarun Baba uh, told us very sweetly uh, this one. <clears throat> One Punjab person who lost his wife crying for Shori. Then finally, she and he get the mercy of Radhika, even though without qualification. So I'm wondering, so many people is is. Many people, it seems, may not be getting the mercy of Radhika. So, and then, how can I, how can we get the mercy of Radhika? This is my understanding is this, this story. This person only cried for Radhika, surely. This is one point, like a child, like a baby. So Gurudev is saying one pointedness. Stai Baba, if we cry like a baby, one pointedness, then we may we we can get the mercy of Shri Kirada. But uh, if our desires is many branches, 
And then Radhika wants to give the mercy, but uh, the kind of many holes in our in our heart. So this story, I'm I'm feeling this one pointedness is uh, is uh, to 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 getting Shri Mati Radhani Rasi is a mercy. Because many Krishna Bhakta there, or you know, Adik Sneha Bhakta, Sama Sneha Bhakta, Dada Sneha Dika, so Bishama Sneha, Masneha, Dada Adik Sneha. So, this only one point of Radharani, Shori, Swamini. That person um, gets a mercy. That's uh, I I feel this story. Also, uh, Goranga Sundra Prabhu explained very nicely. The Lord always desires the mercy of His loving devotees. Outside Buraja, Krishna may have consciousness. I'm Supreme Lord. But the Buraja is like an ordinary person. Looks like ordinary person. Gurudev say Narabhati. So Krishna is a mercy to meet Swami. Krishna always needs help of Radha Dasi. So this loving devotee, of course, we may understand different ways, but especially for us, this is loving devotee's masses. I feel this is rather than the manjari's masses. Sometimes Krishna begs the man, where's my Swamini? So you know, because Swamini is always coming from this direction, from your cross. I think Swami is there. And then Manjari said, No, today is mother in law order our Swami to stay home. And then Krishna is a little bit sad. But later on, Manjari is uh, uh, kindly bring Swami to Satsang Kunja. And this Mohan could meet Swami. So especially in Braja, a Krishna needs the mercy of Radha Dasu. I want to add something. Uh, in Jagat Kapuri, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, gave order to Nityananda he told, go and give prema to everyone. And how he's doing, he's not asking, do you want prema? No, he's just giving everyone. Even that person who doesn't want, by force he's giving. And I have a question to Shri Guru Dev. When Radha, Shri Radha Govinda Goswami, your Guruji, took you on the hand and offered to Takurji, is he asking you? Is he ask you, do you want this servant for Adam Mohan? Or he just offered? <laughs> it's a mercy of him that at the time of my giving, second time they said to me, refreshing to me, he give mercy take it, my spiritual body, and take that in the lotus state of Radha I Today I am reading the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad, Sunday, Sachi Bhagavad Day. So, it was beautifully he explained about that. Prabhupada, Srimad Bhagavat is this, 
you have to ask to Sachi Baba, I make the note there. There is a, Bhag a Srimad Bhagavad book there, or you bring it. Uh, so, in the note I put it, underline and the note, how Diksha goes. At the same time, if Patra is there, it received the history. So this is the Dhammani Puriya online. Yes. <coughs> uh, Patra is there, he received the same time that must be to, uh, to realize with the mantra that I am the, uh, the Dasi of my Ishtar. Not follow to Gurudev. He become Dasi of Ishtadev, of, of Radha Mohan. At the moment, if it's a clean path, if not, then it takes time up to Manjari Sarup recently. And if he is not clean in that time, means his previous karma is very heavy. It takes long time to come to the Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. This Patra? Patra must qualify cleanness. Dirty Patra cannot hold, preserve it. Mm. Means the Patra has to be very clean. Suddha Chitta Sravanadi Karayota. Suddha Chitta. Chitta has to be pure. Greed has to be there. You see, he is mad for his wife, Kishori, Kishori, where you are. All are telling you, live in Barsane, Kishori. Why not you coming? I will die for you. Only this listening to Radharani. She will can one day, two days, three days, she cannot listen to this. She says, no, this Kishori is I in Barsane. He come to Barsane. Ah, you have to bring the cheer making with the mati playing with the Dalita uh, and Vishaka and this uh, clay pot and she is making this um, something by clay. Yeah, bring this. And this was clay sweet. And this he eat because it's fed by Radhika. It's Amrita. It was Amrita. I cannot believe how much tasteful it was. <laughs> and by eating that, all his realizations Because he was one year thinking and chanting about Kishori. So Patra became only by chanting his name. It was name of his wife, but Kishori, Kishori. And Kishori meditation was <laughs> Kishori is so merciful, you cannot understand this. And this Kripa happens to two books, Radhara Sudhanidhi and Vilap Kusumanjali. All the cream, all the essence of the, our Gaudiya Vaishnava, Rasik, juicy, is not a book, it's a book. Song and poetry. When you will want to go, is every word is full of cubes. And it cannot come out without his Siddha Deha. He was in Siddha Deha, he's writing this book. 
I know this book in Bangla and Hindi are so sweet, so sweet in Bangla. My God, I cannot understand the sweetness. But in English also is no less sweet. Well, no less sweet. I don't know, I am a little crazy or what, but you go read, then you will understand. One book more is a, as it is Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada. You no need to add one book, one word. If you add, you will not understand the meaning. And you cannot add in this book any words, <laughs> then meaning will deviate. Wow, I never had surprising to me. After that, I know three books are the beautiful and Srimad Bhagavad of Prabhupada. Wow, you listen the words. Listen. Ah, yeah. Can you say? Yes, it's okay with them. Yeah. Give the mic. Mm -hmm. No, no, this mic. So today, yes. today Sachinanda Baba was leading Sri Bhagatam, Thanks, Kyanto. Second chapter, text 18. So, I would like to read uh, a quote which underlines them. The Supreme Personality of Godhead was transferred from the core of Vasudeva's mind or heart to the core of the heart of Devaki. Wow. We should note carefully that the Lord was transferred to Devaki, not by the ordinary way for a human being, but by Diksha initiations. Thus, the importance of initiation is mentioned here. Unless one is initiated by the right person who always carries within the heart the supreme pers personality of Godhead, one cannot acquire the power to carry the supreme Godhead within the core of one's own heart. <laughs> The another sentence. There is no need to think of the Lord artificially as yogi do. Yogis meditate upon the supreme person within the mind. <laughs> but uh, for, devo for devotee, for a devotee, however, the Lord is present, and His presence need only be awakened through initiation by a bona fide spiritual master. Wow. What we do, bona fide spiritual master? Listen. Prabhupada is clearing. Just be awakened. 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 Yeah, man, it give is to them. Mm. Yes, the Lord is present. Yeah. And his presence need only be awakened through initiation by a bona fide spiritual master. Lord means means is to them. Yes. Not Gurudev following. Mm. 
The form of the Lord situated in the pure unalloyed heart of Vasudeva is not different from the original form of Krishna. The appearance of the form of Krishna anywhere and specially, uh, specifically within the heart is called Dham. Dham. When he lives, art is our dharma. Dharma differs not only to Krishna's form, but his name, his form, his quality, and his paraphernalia, everything becomes manifest simultaneously. <coughs> Thus, the eternal form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead with full potency. Ah, potency. Full potency. Ah? Full potency. Is a manjari. Full potency is a manjari. If it is not enlightened, I can enlighten to others. Was transferred from the mind of Vasudeva to the mind of Devaki exactly as the setting sun's rays are transferred to the full moon rising in the east. Wow, transferred from the West to east, yeah. transfer to the full moon rising in the east. Wow. Into there, but transfer the air to rising. The supreme laws entrance into the womb of Devaki from the heart of Vasudeva. Ah, ah, heart of the world. Was a heart to heart relationship. Heart to heart relationship. Yeah, Prabhupada. With that of relation, we need to find to find the heart to heart. Right? Wow. <laughs> So, that's it. This Bhagavatam 10th Canto, 2nd chapter, verse 18. Yeah. So good if. When we hear this, this is also the same between the disciple and the and the stu uh, the teacher that the heart to heart relationship is important. How else can the transfer take place? Yeah, so that's the part heart to heart, not mind to heart. Heart to heart and. Then he transfers in his heart, his history to his, his heart. Wow. I was so excited to listen to this. This was, I go there much But he also so that all Vaishnava, you can see it everywhere. It's everywhere. 
साधु सात गुरु वाक्य गुरु वाक्य कितने से करो अखो मीन्स साधु वाइज गो टू साधु सब गो टू शास्त्र वेन यू गो टू शास्त्र यू कैनोट अंडरस्टैंड साधु बिकॉज यू सी फर्स्ट शास्त्र देन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड साधु so his faith in shastra so kripa not come to them sadhu said that what you have to check in shastra is there or not then it goes inside to us sadhu was shastra is reference that you check it is right or wrong but many things you will not find but you will find what a guru vakya this mahajan vakya prabhupad for you will right find out the words of ananda swami is guru vakya who is in manjari bhav they can bring us there and i see prabhu pad in manjari bhav and i see Ananda Swamiji in Siddha Vastha is writing in on that first song. It becomes song. This for me is a song I'm telling. And this is with a Kusmu Anjali open my window to see him. So really, I see. These are good work. Believe me, he says, "Bani, Gurudev, I am so so thankful that you spoke these so touching words about this diksha. Wonderful! I wonderful, wonderful, wonderful." and i was thinking that you know baba wrote something so mesmerizing in his book guru tatva about this diksha process and you spoke now so from the heart and it's so everything is so tightly connected you and and him are so tight and dear he said actually this this diksha baba is saying this can narottam das thakur is saying divya gyan rite prakashito in in this song divya gyana rite prakashito so baba is explaining what actually is this divya gyan this is what the guru like you said is giving in the moment of diksha from the heart to heart and what is he giving he is giving the swarup and ishtadev this is this is the most powerful moment and this you, you spoke so nicely go there we touched my heart so much thank you so much this divya gyan is the most precious thing many people me too we don't really understand how deep actually diksha goes and baba one time said the process of diksha is finished when you are realizing swarupa siddhi so this is such a very important topic and i want to thank you go there from the heart that you brought that up It is the most important topic. Thank you, Gurudev. Chai Shri Rathe. Hare Krishna.
And this process was actually given by the one who has the greatest love and the greatest mercy. And is also most desired by Sri Krishna. So if it's okay, I will just give the last two lines of this. Because actually yes. everything is inside, like your Guru Dev always give the nectar very cooked down. And I'm always amazed how much bracing is inside of our Swamini. Jai Shri Nikunsha Devi Rasam Buddhi Saranidhi Krishna Mai Krishna Priyatama Naya Nera Abhiram Lalita Lavanya Dham Bremagada Sonara Pratima All glories to the beautiful Bauer Goddess, who is the quint essence of the ocean of Rasa, who is full of Krishna and who is Krishna's dear most. Her elegant, loving beauty is the abode of joy to the eyes, and her golden body is made of pure love. Krishna Sukha Sambhadane Dharma Dharma Nahi Jane Teyagiya Sakala Vishaya Nirbandari Daya Yara Ke Jane Mahi Matara Nigama Niguta Yarekoe For the sake of Krishna's pleasure, she doesn't consider what is moral or immoral. And she gives up all sense pleasure. Who knows the greatness of her heart's insistence? It is said that this is unknown even to the Vedas. Jai Shri Radhe. Heno Rata Sukumari Nava Gorochana Gori Nirantara Keli Kunjamaj Prabod Anande Tebhane Satatashya Meravame Sabutkarshe Korena Viraj. That young, tender Radha, whose complexion is golden like fresh Gorochan, always plays within the Kunja. Prabhupada says, she always shines supremely on Shyam's left side. 
Here ends the commentary on verse number 52 by Srila Anandadas Babaji. Jai Shri Radhe. Was Gurudev, did I see correctly that my beloved brother Rajabaya is there with you? Prashant Bhaiya is there. Raja also? Raja is also here. Please tell them my love, Gurudev. I just, I thought I was seeing Rajabai on the side sitting. I want, I wanted to tell that I'm so happy that he is in Vrindavan. I'm so happy to see him in Vrindavan. Yeah. And Prashant um, also. So nice. Yeah. Mercy goes of family. To everyone who has a desire and greed, they receive it. As only God takes time to agree for that. This is the Sangha of greedy person, mad person, who is conscious they are not material, and yet they are not greedy when they get this juice. They will come baby. Takes time, time of praise and when time will come, or will you come to be Krishna in Bhagavad Gita 1015 he said, Nobody can understand me without my energy. That energy is Radhika. It's a wonderful Gita explanation happening by Uddhava. Wow! Surprised to me by this name. How beautifully explained the things. That everywhere you can see that. Yes, thank you. I'm surprised he was professor in a top university in France and he becomes so rustic by the help of Gopika, I'm proud of that. One day he is the guiding to become PhD to Gopika, <laughs> and now he is guiding <laughs> to be a Rasika. Yeah. <laughs> 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 